WordPress 6.0 has been officially released and has over 1,000 enhancements and updates for both developers and users. So that means it's time for you to back up your database and back up your files because let's face it, you always need a backup. Now with the latest release of WordPress 6.0, AKA Arturo, this is a major update that's gonna benefit theme developers and users. And it's important because 42% of the modern web is now powered by WordPress. And when it comes to WordPress usage, there's been a lot of talk lately about that. Is it gonna continue going up? Is it going down? Should we be concerned? No, 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 no! But that's the topic for another video. Now, one of the biggest updates to this version of WordPress is there's gonna be faster website performance. And that is major because when we're talking about the performance of a website, if a website takes too long to load, a person will end up leaving your site. And that can impact your search engine optimization. You could have the best content in the world, but if you frustrate your users with a very slow website, the search engines won't feature your website or your article on the first page of the search results. And honestly, let's face it, if you're not on page one, if you end up on page two, is anybody really gonna see it? Probably not. Now quickly, let's take a look at the latest announcement from the WordPress developer team. The latest version of the software takes full site editing one step further and looks to consolidate the no code experience for site building, expanding upon the existing customization tools, bringing new blocks and focusing on the writing and design workflows. An example of this is the new style switcher for block themes. One of the most anticipated features for the flexibility and creative opportunities it introduces without having to switch themes. With thoughtful updates to the writing experience, building better block functionality, and adding a new intuitive style switcher, I'm really proud of the work that's been done in this release to make a great site editing experience. Now, in order to create a no-code experience for users, there's going to be a lot of code added to the software itself. Hence why we have over 1,000 enhancements and updates. So with no code, there's actually a lot of code. Now, one of the biggest things that WordPress has been trying to tackle is how can they make the experience of creating content seamless and easier for the end user? Because let's face it, we all have you know constraints on our time. And the more time it takes to create content, the less likely we are to create it, right? So what they did is they started to focus on enhancing the writing experience. And if you look at their announcement, you're gonna see their focus is to streamline the content creation process. One of the big things is now you can select text across multiple blocks for easier copying and pasting. You could type two open brackets to quickly access a list of recent posts and pages. You could create customized buttons and you can make tag clouds and social icons. Now for the theme developers, style switching is one of the biggest benefits of this update. Theme developers can create a bunch of different styles, you know, changing around the text color, background color, the fonts, things of that nature. And the user can select from different options. And the benefit for them is that they get the benefit of changing the styling of the page or post without having to use any CSS. Then we also have patterns or pattern creation, which is just like layouts. So instead of having a blank page or a blank template when you're starting off, you can have a bunch of predefined layouts that the user could choose from. Now the layouts themselves are not built into the WordPress core. The functionality is there for theme developers to implement it within their themes. Everything is changing, right? We've over the years gone from classic themes to now block themes. And there's still both. You can still have a classic theme or a block theme. And you can even have a hybrid theme that implements some of the block features in a classic theme. And people have been wondering, is the future of theme development in jeopardy? And the answer is no. There's actually a lot of work for theme developers to start doing and implementing within their projects. And then we have things like better list view. These are usability enhancements that make it easier for you to see or select multiple blocks. And something else that was added to WordPress 6.0 was the block locking feature. Let's say you're working on a page or post or you're working on a team and multiple people have access to the creation of a page or post. And let's say there's a specific block that needs to be there. You don't want somebody to accidentally delete the block or to adjust the block or alter the block. Well, now you can lock the block. And then you also have more template choices being added to WordPress. You have the date, the author, the tags, taxonomy, and others that have been added over the past few releases. And a feature that was added that's really cool is you can now export your block theme and all of its customized changes. 
So again, WordPress 6.0 is a major update. It's stable, it's been battle tested, and with 1000 enhancements and updates to the code, this is an update you don't wanna miss. Your website will perform faster in the browser. For developers, especially theme developers, there's new pattern creation options, there's new global style switching, there's a bunch of accessibility enhancements added to WordPress 6.0, and in the past, WordPress has set the bar, and WordPress continues to raise the bar. All right, so hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, and share with others. Sound off, what are your thoughts and opinions about WordPress and this latest release? And remember, we have another video coming up talking about the usage of WordPress. Is it going up? Is it declining? Should we be concerned? Or are things being exaggerated? All right, so stay tuned to the next video. Thanks for watching.